Hello brothers and sisters, it is the Remnant Warrior here from the Remnant Report. I I just wanted to, to come on for just a few minutes. I'm not going to stay on long because it's it's getting late. It's uh, going on 9.30, but I just wanted to come on for a few minutes and talk with you guys and just remind everyone to be sober and be vigilant because our adversary the devil most definitely is trying to I mean he he's definitely walking around seeking whom he may devour I um, had program Saturday night and um, I'm not gonna say any names but somebody uh was watching the program live and um i uh i actually i thought that this person um you know was sincere you know they were commenting all through the the program and <laughs> so i um i after the program was over, I kind of interacted with this person on Facebook because some of the comments that were made during the program were kind of off the wall. And anyways, I, I went to this person's page and my goodness, it is very obvious that... that um, there is a group of people that are, um, I guess, for lack of a better word, they're um, trolling people's uh, live videos and uh, trolling people's pages and uh, sending messages. But these people are uh, definitely into the occult. And the more I looked into this, the more I saw other people's uh, videos that these same people were going on and commenting and I saw a bunch of different posts in groups that I'm in that people that these same people were commenting on and <laughs> I said I've got to go on live for at least a few minutes and remind my brothers and sisters to stay sober and be vigilant you know just what first peter 5 8 tells us to do because we never know who is the enemy has uh gonna who he's got and who he's going to send after us you know i i dealt with um last year during uh Halloween during the fall I had um, some people in in witchcraft in the occult trying to uh, put spells on me and all kinds of things and I actually did a program about that but these people that I'm uh, talking about tonight they um, they actually believe themselves to be um, Nephilim uh, you can see from all their posts, they uh, want they want to be anyway. They want to have this fallen angel blood in them. Uh, one of them actually uh, has named himself uh, after Christ. He's named himself uh, the he he's given himself the Hebrew name for Jesus and. It's, it's a group of people and you know the enemy is real <laughs> and there's power in the occult these people have act I mean true power you can believe what you want to about it you can think that it's not something that you need to worry about but I promise you I know from experience that um 
the power that the enemy has is real and that's why it is so very very important that we put on the whole armor of God every single day um, truthfully the first thing that we should do when we wake up is to our knees I know on the days that I forget to pray I forget to go to prayer as the first thing I do if I forget to pray in the mornings then my day <laughs> does not go smoothly at all until I hit my knees and I know that there are all kinds of things for you know that there are things going on that really trouble us I know that the the COVID-19 the whatever it's called the coronavirus is um, something that we should definitely you know pay attention to follow we should know what's going on and um, <laughs> that way we know what to pray against we know what to arm ourselves for um, you know we we have to be prepared but we do not need to be scared it's if if you have the holy spirit and you are born again then the coronavirus nor anything else is anything that you should be afraid of we truthfully have nothing to fear um you know and with these people that i was talking about i'm not i'm not scared of uh of them and nobody should be scared of that either because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world you know although we should be sober and be vigilant and know what's going on you know prepare ourselves and be wise to these things we should not fear these things at all because we have the creator of the entire world the creator of the universe is our protection he is our comfort you know we have the holy spirit we have the savior of the world in our hearts so there's there's nothing to fear nothing to be afraid of but we should definitely pay attention to these things um, truth be told <laughs> I'm I'm preaching to myself you know more than anything because honestly I have not uh, I've not looked to see any updates about the coronavirus in the last at least Ha, two three days I think the last time matter of fact it's been longer than that the last time that I saw anything about the coronavirus was on the deception report this past week that was the last time I saw anything um, I don't know if uh, if it's getting worse or not um, I know that uh, Kelly probably knows uh, uh, Mary, do you know how many, uh, how, what the death toll is now that they're telling us? I mean, I know that that's probably not the, the actual death toll, but do you know how many people they're saying have died and, uh, how many people they're saying has it now? I hope that, uh, everything's going okay with the video I'm on my computer and uh, I had to I had to do the program this week on my phone because my computer didn't want to and it wasn't acting right earlier so um, I know uh, I don't have I, I don't see a the comment from um, Mary so I don't I don't know if if you got if if you're on or not. I don't know if the program's working or if it's messing up or or what. I 
I'm not, I'm not able to see anybody's comments anymore. Um, the fake toll. Okay, I got your comment. Um, I see it now. Do you know what the the fake toll is? I guess I could uh I could look myself on my phone. Great day. 80 80,000 is what they're saying. Wonder how many um Okay, um, Linda Daly, her her friend's grandson, Franklin, is in critical condition. Um, so guys, please, please remember to keep uh, Franklin, um, that's Linda Daly's grandson, or Linda Daly's friend's grandson, he's in a critical condition. I, uh, I saw the post that she put up she put a post up on facebook uh i, guess, I think it was today earlier and uh it was about the little boy um and we definitely definitely need to to uplift him um and keep him in our prayers we need to remember him uh i i don't know how old he is but um he's in critical condition um I tell you what, we can uh, we can stop right now and say a, a quick prayer for him, and then we can remember him in our prayers. I'm gonna pause this music that's playing in the background. I had a uh, Destiny Lab playing, and I forgot to cut it off when I started the video. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you now and. We just want to lift up little Franklin. Father, he's in critical condition in the hospital. And we know that Jesus said when he was on this earth, suffer the little children unto me. And Jesus really, really cared for the children. He had a heart for children, and he still does have a heart for children. And he gave us the example so that we should also care for the children. You know, he said if anyone will would lead one of these little ones astray or do anything to hurt them, it, it'd be better for a millstone to be tied around their neck and them cast into the sea. So, Father, we, we know how much you care for children, and we pray now that you just put your healing touch on Franklin. Father, we pray that if it's your will that you will heal this child. Be with the family, Father. I pray that you just send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, to comfort these people. Give them the peace that passes all understanding. Father, we love you. And we ask these things in the most powerful and holy name of Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. All right, guys. I just felt like we needed to stop right then and, and uplift Franklin. Um, yeah, Mary, uh, I saw uh, where they were burning people. Um, I don't watch the, the, the mainstream news, but uh, I do... Um, I watch the cutting edge every every morning and um John Hall was was talking about and showing uh the satellite footage, the infrared and how you could see that they were burning people and uh you know that it just makes you wonder just how many people actually have this thing or how many people have died from it. How many people are they killing before they die? It's crazy and uh, you know we all wondered when the FEMA camps were coming you know they shut down all the Walmarts and uh, 
Wonder what the world they gonna use the Walmarts for? Yeah, well now we know they uh they gonna open up these um these places. The it's gonna be uh where they uh, quarantine people. These quarantine centers. That's exactly what the Walmarts are gonna be used for, in my opinion. Um, that's just me and my conspiracy theory <clears throat> that's not a conspiracy <laughs> but uh that that's in my opinion what exactly what they're going to do um i'm sure that uh the people in in china especially in wuhan can can tell you all about it um i know mary uh, listen to the people over there I have uh, heard from several people over there John Hall also uh, played a video from somebody over there um, I don't know if it's the, the same person that that you had Mary but um, I don't know if you've if you've seen the cutting edge um, I know you've uh, I know you've watched things on now you see TV before but um that's the cutting edge comes on every morning on now you see TV and then they have uh can't remember which days they're on blog talk but they're on blog talk radio too um two days out of the week anyway uh, I I tell you what I I am truly looking forward to this week's program will be back on the doctrine of Christ and um we are going to we're going to do things a, a little different on the doctrine of Christ this week um I think everybody will will really enjoy um the way that we're going to study the doctrine of Christ. We're also going to be starting uh, a Bible study, a, a weekly Bible study in the group, Facebook group in, 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 uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember what days. I don't know yet. I've got to talk to Melanie and find out what days when it, but, um, it's, the group in Jesus name and um we're going to be doing it hopefully I don't know if we'll start this week but it'll definitely be starting next week I'm um I was supposed to talk to Melanie today but I haven't had a chance to talk to her yet and the day is definitely over it's going on 10 o'clock I'm not gonna stay on any longer I just wanted to come on for just for like just a few minutes and um let everybody know to please be sober, be vigilant, and pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention with new people come into your life. Um, you know, pay attention to them. See, see what they're doing. I'm not telling you to be paranoid. I'm telling you to be smart. You know, use your discernment. That uh, that's a gift of the Holy Spirit, by the way. And uh, I gotta say, it's my favorite one. Um, I know that it's it might not be the the most it might not be the most glamorous one, but it's definitely, in my opinion, my favorite one. And uh, you know, you can't go wrong with if you've got the discernment of the Holy Spirit. But guys, I um, I hope you have a good week. We'll see you. Uh, let's see. We'll see you Thursday night on the Deception Report. Don't forget, be on Periscope. On um, now you see TV. I'm excuse me, <laughs> my bad. On Periscope on Next Chat Radio Network uh, on NCRN and um, also on the website on NCRN.com in uh, Next Chat Radio Network. And also, we'll be on 
Friday back on the Doctrine of Christ on the Remnant Report. So make sure you tune in this week, Thursday and Friday, to the Deception Report and the Remnant Report. All right, guys. Uh, I will see you all Friday. Have a good week. This is the Remnant Warrior for the Remnant Report. Good night and God bless.